Are you so scared of the night? Do you really think day is any better? You coward, pathetic idiot. Horrible things happen in broad daylight all the time. I'm still so curious if this is his mother talking to him. That's what I'm assuming it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll find her. I have to. Uh, fresh inventory, fresh start. Let's click on some things and see what we got going on. A happy simulator? What would that consist of? Also, if we're if uh, Nahubi were here, you could probably conspire to get this going. You could dev it. Would it just be like some little blonde triapsing around with no thoughts in her head? Oh, like Flappy Bird, but me clapping. <laughs> we could just move up and over the pillars. The faster you clap, the faster you flap. Well, if I ever need a pile of rotting leaves, I know where to get it. Epic. <laughs> Got peppers? It's not usual seeing those here. The line's catchy. Well, brain's not working today, but I think I have a couple things up my sleeve. But Otto does like some spicy stuff. Oh, we're going to see Otto. It's his own supply, but maybe I'll take some? Hey, Otto, I got you these peppers that I picked from your own farm. You're welcome. Otto's hot stuff. Do not touch. Did we take a pepper? He surely won't mind, right? Anyway, it might come in handy. Look at that. The faster you clap, the faster you flap. <laughs> it's so great. That should be my new bio on, on the channel. Perfectly ripe. Maybe they'll come in handy. That is so funny. Oh, what's happening here? What the hell? This wasn't here yesterday. They must have set it up during the night. Were we here yesterday? What the hell is this? I need to get through there. Hey, sir! Oh, uh... Me? Yeah, you're the only sir around, Graham. Yes, can I have a word, please? Um, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> He's so miserable. Hi, how are you, sir? Oh, I'm Graham. Okay. Um, would you rather I called you Graham? Yeah, sure. Sir doesn't fit right with me. I'm not royalty or anything. Sure, Graham. Hi. I'm... So, are you from NASA or something? What? No, how would that make sense? Kinda look like an astronaut. What? No. I'm a researcher here and... Wait, this isn't working. Ah, much better. Oh? What happened? You just... Don't look how I expected you to. And what exactly does that mean? Wait, no, no. No need to be like that. Like what, Graham? That's been me this entire game, is like, Graham! <laughs> like, F off, 
ram. Uh, it's a beautiful day, huh? Are you... Do you have mental difficulties? All of the time. I've been getting headaches. Okay, I see. I'm L, by the way. Um, nice to meet you. Look, can I get through? I'm looking for someone. And I need to go in that direction to find her. Afraid I can't let you do that. Maybe find another way through or wait like a month? Or two? There's no other way through and this is really urgent. Please? Sorry, Graham. My hands are tied. Um, why did you call me over then if you weren't gonna let me through the gate? So... You wanted to talk to me? Right. I heard you're one of the few people living in this area. We are? That's true. It is? Good. Just wanted to make sure. I needed to inform you that this place is off limits while we're conducting research. It's a matter of safety. But I guess that's already settled. Who's we? Siren. We conduct geographic and environmental studies. But I really need to go through, Elle. The person I'm looking for is located on the other side of this. Actually, didn't she come through? A brunette with freckles? Yes. But she signed a form months ago. She can go through because it's on the way to her house. We couldn't just cut her off. I really need to get to her. Can't you let me? Just me, just this once. Earlier you said you live here. The way to the village isn't cut off. Unless you had a form of some kind. Do you? I don't have no stupid form. This is ridiculous. Just let me through. Absolutely not. Authorized personnel only. Please? No, I'd be fired. Can't make an exception even if you're a special case. What do you mean by that? Oh, honey. What does she mean by that? Why are we a special case? What's wrong with Graham and his little gas-filled head? So we need to get a form? We'll... Is there anything I can do to convince you to let me through? Afraid not, Graham. Come on. I won't touch anything. You can lead me and watch me like a hawk. I get fired. Can't have a chance of anything. Or anyone tampering with our results. This is serious stuff. It might mean a lot for the region. How so? I'm not at liberty to say. Okay, what if I tried to get through anyway? You'd get arrested. Do you want to get arrested, Graham? No. No, you don't, buddy. Well done. Okay, bye, Elle. See you later. Bye, Graham. Okay, so if I had to take a little guess, we need to find a form. Can I take this or... <laughs> hey, get out of there. I was just checking it out. Don't. Okay. What about this? They're nailed shut. What do you think you're doing? I'm just looking, L. I was just looking at the logo. Yeah, please don't go near those. They have sensitive and expensive stuff in them. Sure, sorry. Um, shall we just go this way and see what we can find? A swing? Is this auto? I'm gonna assume this is auto. Still working on your treehouse, I see. Still being a nosy piece of shit, I see. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? To me? Nothing. I'd never let you. But I know a rotten apple when I see one. That seems unfair. Life's unfair, bucko. Strap in for the ride. <laughs> Maybe this isn't Otto. I'm looking for someone. Oh, it is. Say, Otto. You don't happen to know about a brunette with freckles. She's... Now, what does a creep like you... Did you see that panicking? Like... <laughs> <laughs> that sent me, okay. Now what does a creep like you want with that girl? Girl? No, you're thinking of someone else. 
I'm pretty sure she's an adult. Bah, you're all kids to me. Why are you looking for her? How do we nicely say that we mildly, if you looked at it from a lawful standpoint, perhaps kidnapped her young child out of her own cabin and drug her through very dangerous mines to drop her off at her grandparents' doorstep? And we'd like to notify her. <laughs> um, <laughs> this crazy thing happened and... Oh, forget it. I don't care. You're so boring. I can't keep listening to you. Just don't go bothering that girl. She's been through enough, that poor thing. Oh, really? You're so dumb. You haven't lived enough. I saw her recently, actually. She comes for groceries and stuff. Do you know how I can find her? Forget it, weirdo. She always goes east, and you can't get there now. Why not? You'll find out soon enough. Uh, we were just there. They blocked it off with the gate, you know, that jazz. Like, we saw it. Also, here's more rotting leaves. Do you think we'll need that? <laughs> okay, about the tent. What do we need to know about the tent? Why do we care about a tent right now? So there's a tent blocking us at east. Oh, yeah. You met Elle? Yeah. That's a real classy lady, I'll tell you what. Didn't look like that much of a lady. You wouldn't know the difference from a real lady. Otto's got some sass to him. He's got an attitude. And a pig wearing lipstick. My eyesight is shitty, but not that shitty. I'm not talking about your eyes. It's about that spammed meat you call your brain. And your heart. But she's wearing those baggy spaceman clothes. There you go, proving my point. You'll die never appreciating life's beauty. Serves you right. Graham is very negative and does not appreciate life's beauty. I will put that out there. Yep, I will agree with Otto on this one. God damn, Otto, that's harsh. Even for you. Bah. Okay, let's poke around a little bit, and then we can maybe, as always, real nice talking to you. Scram! <laughs> we'll poke around a bit, and then maybe come back to Otto and ask him more about the lady. Don't. Touch. It. Aren't you a bit old for a swing? Who says it's for me? Oh, is he friends with- do you have a family, Otto? None of your beeswax. I wonder if he's friends with the girl, like with the mom and the young girl. Because they do live nearby. Wish I could get far away from here. Start again. But everywhere is shitty somehow. Uh, we can. Lots of leaves. We can click on the leaves. I don't want to click on auto if that's what that's going to do. Oh, should we try giving him the peppers? What you got there? Oh, just some peppers. You don't really look like the cooking food type. Only the cooking trouble type. Well, I just found these and stealing from someone's garden, I see. What? No, I better keep my eye on you. You want to steal all my stuff from me, don't you? <laughs> oh, come on, Otto. What do you even have to take? My dignity, unlike you, you armpit sniffer. What armpit sniffer? Where did that come from? I see how you smell yourself because you never take a bath. <laughs> I bet it's a sick sex thing, isn't it? Otto, what the hell? I knew it. Please, can I have some of your peppers? You already touched them. I don't want them back. But if you take any more, you'll feel the heat all right. The heat of hellfire. Thank you for your kindness. Okay. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. They want to keep people away from that. That can't be good for nature. Uh, can we walk over here, please? Is there nothing more to this area? Just this? You can see caution sign. But oh, we can look at the... We can open it. That opens up easily. The hell are you doing, boy? Looking at an event hatch, you know? Well, I'm... 
poking around. You know what? You know what, what, what are you doing? It's none of your business. Oh, is that so? Don't you be cute with me, you piece of shit. That a His insults are very interesting. You piece of shit that a fly spat out. What kind of insult is that? A great one. I'll explain it to you, dumbass. Flies eat shit, but the source material of your piece of shit was so bad that even a fly was disgusted by it. So it spat out a smaller piece of shit. That's you. A microscopic piece of shit that disgusts even a creature that loves shit. You little piece of shit. I got it. It's just... Screw you. Do whatever you want. But if it messes with me or my work in any way, I won't beat you with just my words. You cocky asshole. <laughs> wow! Otto is real lovable. I like him more than Graham, though. I'll tell you that much. I have an idea where this leads to. Maybe if I mess with this, I can distract them. I actually might have some use for these. Yeah, I'm thinking put leaves in it, and it'll, like, clog it up. Okay. Can we try? If I fill this up, that might do the trick. But I need more. Okay. Oh, we can go this way? Oh, this is just back to her. So was there a way to the left, then? Can we grab these leaves? Might need some more. Don't yell at me! I'm just getting leaves. I just really like leaves. Okay, she didn't yell. We are safe for now. We're gonna go back this way to get these leaves. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. These ones, thank you. Please and thank you. This should be enough. Thank goodness. Because I don't know where any more leaves are. Let's go back. And then I wonder if we can look at this building. Yeah. I know what's inside already. Don't really want to look at it from the outside. Too depressing. What's inside? Where did... Shit. I lost my key. Oh, it's his house? What the... What is... What? Why am I so confused right now? Hey, numbskull! Is he related to Otto? Why Why does he live here but Otto's building a treehouse? I guess you're talking to me? Of course I am, you stupid idiot! You left your key in the lock. Someone could have just entered your place and stolen whatever they wanted. Freaking kids nowadays, their minds aren't right. You can't even do basic shit. Anyway, your key's on the table between my pieces of wood. Be more careful next time. I'm not your nanny. Oh, thank you, Otto. Did you... Um... Enter the house? What? You accusing me after I did you a solid? That was pretty bold of him, yeah. Also, what are you hiding in there? That is so, like... Did you, did you go inside? Like, I wouldn't even question it. I'm not of your... Your ilk, boy. <laughs> That's an older word there. I respect privacy. Now get out of my face before I build you a home under the ground. See you later, Otto. Real nice talking to you. Let's put the leaves in the vent. 
and uh, then we'll go unlock the door. Just some more leaves. I don't know why I'm using Otto's voice. Not Otto, cover it up. How about a little more? Ta-da! There. Properly ruined. Uh, the ventilator's down. What? Did the power turn off again? Doesn't look like it. Shit. Hope it's not broken. I'm not that kind of engineer. If it is, it will take at least a week for someone to come. To this backwater place. Go talk to Dr. E. Why me? She scares me. Elle just annoys you. You deal with her better than me. Go see if she might know what to do now. <sighs> sure. But you deal with Bob next time. God damn it. <laughs> now they're distracted for sure. All right. So let's go into the house. And see what's must open it first. Okay, buddy. All right. I would assume if I clicked on the door and he had the key, that's fine. That's fine. We just had a whole interaction about keys, but that's cool. Yeah, we'll do it one little step at a time. Good thing the owner abandoned this place and didn't bother to take the key. What? Since I'm around, there's no need keep lock. There's no need keep locking and unlocking the door. I'll just hide the key in the usual spot. Okay. Hope I don't forget it again. Did he just find an abandoned house, found the key for it, and was like, Finders keepers, this place is mine. I'm, I'm gonna stay here from now on. I, the world doesn't work like that. Home, sweet home. Well, it's not much, but it's still one of the best places I've crashed at. The owner either left town after the mines closed, or he died there. Lucky me. I cook almost everything in there. Don't have a lot more kitchen stuff. Hello! Welcome! It's good. We haven't been playing for too long today. So far. I'm kind of hoping to finish today. I'll never read half of them. But they might warm me some during this winter. That's effed up. How dare you disrespect books like that. That fan has never worked since I've been here. No use looking in there. I know it's empty. It usually is. Alright, Graham. No luck. Wish I could make it work. It would keep me company. Okay. I should read more. Yeah, probably. But most of the time, my mind won't let me focus. You gotta find the right book, Graham. The owner left these framed news here. I have no idea why, but I kind of like them. Okay. Is this for the TV still? I can click on that. I see the- ah, okay. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> I love the journals. Oh, they're so good. Okay. May 3rd. Lost another job. They hated that. They hated me from day one, I think, to be honest. So no surprises there. Things are looking bad everywhere, and I'm not getting any younger. This back is going to kill me, but I need money. Anyway, it's a good opportunity to try and start on this journal yet again. Got no one to talk to, really, so might as well. May 5th. Couldn't write to yesterday. Decided to move towards to the coast. Um, I might find another job there, maybe. Writing this while out in the woods. Didn't have much to pack, so I'm going light and no money to sleep anywhere. This is how hobos get killed. At least the weather is nice. I might try to hitchhike tomorrow. May 18th. It's been some crazy weeks. Managed to make some extra money with handiwork on my way, but the best thing is I found an abandoned place to crash at. The owner even left the key behind. I think I maybe could make a home here if nobody finds out. Huh. 
It's usable and it even has water running. I could put some work in it, but I'm still broke. May 19th. Met an interesting old man. Says he also is going to make a home here. Maybe we'll be friends. June. For all this is crossed out. I hate this. I hate all of this. Why is life so hard and why did it go so wrong for me? I got mad again, started to lose it, and it's so embarrassing. I'm glad I'm alone so no one can see it, and I hope. June 10th. Had that nightmare again. It was dark, but managed to set up a place to reveal my pictures. I feel alone in this house. I felt alone before, but having a place reminds me how alone I am. I wish I had a soft body sleeping next to me in bed. Someone that could... June 24th. Now I know a bit about this place. I can tell it also went to hell. Since the mine closed down in a terrible tragedy, the whole village went to shit. But something gives me hope. Gives me hope thought. Maybe I can still find some light in this place. I'll try again tomorrow. Poor Graham. Like, I knew he was mentally effed up, dude, but... Like, it's always harder when you see it written out like that. Like, see someone's thoughts. Can we take this corkscrew? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, he has dots. Okay. I have so much difficulty getting my thoughts in order when I try to write. It's embarrassing. Might as well take it. That's what I was thinking. It looks useful. Okay, and then do you want to look at this stuff? Nobody bothered to shut the water down. And I'm sure not going to remind them. Shit. I let the light on. I'm such a dumbass. What am I worried for? I don't even pay the light bill. Let it burn. Can I look at the... I think these will turn out alright. Just I would. I just want to look at them. Can I not? Why won't... That's fine. What are we taking photos of? <laughs> Nothing. Just, uh... It's not that chilly. Don't really need it. Be surprised, Graham. You really aren't gonna let me look at the photos? Maybe I can go... Nothing in the medicine cabinet, not even aspirin. That's so upsetting. Okay. Crappy photography gear. But it's my crappy photography gear. Bed where I lie alone every night. Okay. You are a sad, sad man, Graham. Okay, do- I wonder if we need to go to the right or if we need to go back to the main gate to talk to L. Can we grab the key? They're distracted. If I want to find her, I have to take advantage of this. I bet that key on the info board will help me out. Okay, let's look at this. Keys come in handy. They sure do. Area 815 status. Previous collections from nearby areas would seem to indicate larger amounts of the unknown compound concentration escalating as we get closer to Area 815. Unless our hypothesis is incorrect and there are, unlikely as it is, several sources for the compound. Our way of deducing the presence of the compound has proven effective, although we are technologically limited on site since the machinery needed to detect it and isolate it can't be transported. We found that the presence of higher concentrations of Phe2O332H2O oh, is usually accompanied the presence of the compound itself. That with the presence of the right pH and the water solution becoming red is usually a good indicator, although confirmation is always needed via sending the sample to headquarters for further testing. Even if Area 815 is not the source we're looking for, this method has accelerated investigation procedures, meaning we will soon be ahead of schedule. As a final note, I find it important to leave in writing that while we're working with local government to implement safety measures to diminish people's possible exposure to the compound within, without generating an, an unjustified health crisis, there's not much to be done for the fauna and flora. Further funds are needed to study and, if possible, correct the damage this could be doing to the ecosystem. Dr. E. Bouchard? Is that L? 
Okay. So something's like leaking out and killing nature? Like, do I need to write down? I understood almost nothing of that. They're looking for some anomalous chemical in the water that turns it red. Okay. Is it just that on the board? Oh, we don't have anything to pry this open. Government authorized geographic investigation. Huh. It's pretty vague even reading it all. Lots of technical mumbo mumbo jumbo. I doubt we can use this to open these. The boxes are nailed shut. No use screwing around with them. Haha, <laughs> Graham, you're so funny. It's so funny. Okay. I get it. Look at us. We're so clever. The why is a trident. Assholes. Okay. So... I'm just gonna see if they're... It's like I'm really bad at finding the other trails, so I'm just like, where can I go? Where can I go? Hmm. Let's just scoot this over. Just give it a little scooch. Nice. There's a lock. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> we do already have a key, though. That's gonna lead somewhere. An air conditioner. Guess they need to keep this place cool. I guess so, huh? What is this? I could jump over, but I'd probably get caught instantly. And hurt my back while doing it. So we do have this key. Alright, let's see if this... Perfect. Unlocked. Guess we're going in. We need... Oh, there's outfits here. I can't get caught. Gotta be like those guys in spy movies. So, put on an outfit? I could do like in the movies and put one of these on. But that's dumb. They'd catch me anyway. For real, you're not gonna wear one of these? Like, you're joking, right? They've been testing different spots, looking for something in the water. It's a machine. It does machine things. Happy for you. Maybe they have aspirins here? My headaches have been of the murderous kind lately. No such luck. Just weird chemicals. Hmm. Is this the same machine? Sciency thingamabobs. What's in here? Lots of different chemicals in there. You don't want any of them? You don't want to maybe take some with you? It's a machine. Thank you, Graham, for that. Can't really understand it. Results are all over the place. But I guess they're looking at the water's pH level? Okay. I think... These are used to measure something in liquids. Okay, pH levels. I guess they're seeing if the water changes to red? Um, maybe I can get some red water to fool them? So target, can we look at this in clear, clear font and read it? Maybe not. Do we need to write this information down? Maybe? Target sample 8.2 So They've had 32 occurrences of this low pH level, 16 of this one, and then zero of these higher, too. Got it.
So do you want to just like walk out there? That seems bold. Better not risk it. Someone could see me. And you really don't want to put one of these on? That's dumb. What are you expecting then, dude? You don't want me to, like, take out these guys, right? <laughs> okay. I tried clicking directly on him. That didn't seem to work. Um... Lots of different chemicals in a vial. So we're gonna make the pH level that we need. I don't think they'll miss one tiny little flask. Oh, does one of these blend or something? Or do we have to go back to our house? Because I'm thinking we're gonna... Yeah, but the flask is for liquid stuff. I'm thinking we need running water. So maybe we have to... Where's the arrow? There it is. I'm thinking maybe we have to go back. They wear those suits for a reason. Alright. Checking to see if there's any other... Ways of... Maneuvering. Okay, so our running theory, so she's not busy anymore, but that's fine. We don't need her to be busy. We already have the key. We're great. Uh, we're gonna go in here and see if we can maybe put some water in the flask. And... I think they're already sampling the water. I need to get something a bit stranger than that. Yeah, this. Can we cook it? Yeah, I'll try that. Why not? And turn it into, like, red water. You okay there, buddy? Maybe this will fool them. Okay, so let's go back then. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, just walking around to the back of your tent, totally not doing anything suspicious, totally not sneaking into the back of it. Couldn't be me, not me, nope, definitely not me. Oh, hey, weird, how did I wind up here, huh? That's so strange. Okay, well, I'll just test this water real quick. Here goes nothing. Shit. Why did it have to make noise? Better leave before someone comes to check it out. Hey, why did you put a sample for testing without registering it? I did no such thing. What are you talking about? This sample here. I didn't do it. Neither did I, but it looks weird. Maybe Bob did it, that jackass. Forget about that. This looks promising. Put it on the spec- Spectrophotometer. <laughs> okay, sure, huh? What? It's nothing that makes sense. Not what we're looking for, that's for sure. God damn it, Bob. What a waste of time. Glad this Bob guy is taking the fall. Maybe I can get away with trying this again? Trying this again with what? That was my grand idea. Gotta take another one. Hope no one notices. 
I don't think they'll miss one tiny little flask. Okay. Do we need to take another pepper? And let's see where it left us. Where was our last safe space? How much do we have to do again? Okay. Um. So, we were doing the thing with the vials where we had to make the, I gotta take another one. Oh, thank God. Okay, this is literally, we don't have to redo anything pretty much. At the end of our last stream, whenever we randomly left you guys, I apologize for that. I abandoned you. Um, I hope there's no residual trauma from it. Um, we had just taken another one. And I said, do you think we have to get another pepper? And then it cut. <laughs> so, do you think we have to get another pepper? I don't think they'll miss one tiny flask. You don't know that for sure. <gasps> He saw us? I thought he had passed. I'm very traumatized. It's just in your blood. I think you were born traumatized. What the hell, Graham? I'm sorry, I was just... You were just what? I mean, I got lost and... You were snooping. That's what you were doing. Do you want to get arrested? Or worse yet, get someone fired? Um, I don't know if that... Look, I know you're a bit slow, but... That is so rude! I know you're a bit slow. <laughs> like, don't ever say that to somebody. What? What do you mean by... Yeah, exactly. Look, buddy, don't do this again. You'll get someone in trouble. You don't want that, do you? She's so condescending. Good. Or else we can't be friends anymore. Okay? I don't know if we're friends in the first place. I'm not a child. Of course you're not. So I need you to behave like an adult. Sure. Okay, do we have the vial? We still have the vial. Should we go see if we can pick another pepper? Peter Piper picked a peck of... What is that thing? Peter Piper picked a peck of something peppers, of pi pickled peppers. They were useless. I hate spicy stuff. Pickled peppers, yeah. So how are we going to get the water that they need? Maybe something to do with this? The corkscrew? You can't see what this is. My face is in the way. It's a corkscrew. Maybe something to do with a corkscrew? Let's go back to the... Like, barn house, I guess? Uh, say, Otto, are you gonna use those nails? What? No. They're all rusty. I left them too long out here. It's just trash. Rusty water? May I have them then? Now why the hell do you want them? Hey, I'm just taking them off your hand. Isn't that what matters? You take them if that means you'll leave me alone. Such a weird, dumb piece of shit. <laughs> he hates us. Captain Haddock from The Adventures of Tintin. I've not seen The Adventures of Tintin. Are you talking about Otto? I might try something with these later on. I think, I think you and I, Graham, I think we're having some ideas. So I'm thinking water and nails. Are you gonna, okay, are you not gonna fill it? Yeah, but the flask is for liquid stuff. Oh yeah, didn't we have to actually do it in the pot or something? Don't even know if this will do anything, but... We're gonna boil some rust nails! 
Okay, did we make some crazy concoction of orange liquid? Preferably. There's Graham having another existential crisis. Maybe this will fool them. Just maybe. Look at this. Once again, you can't see it. I probably should move my face, huh? Then I feel like I'll block other stuff. It's just red liquid in a, in a, in a vial, if you're curious. Okay. Let's walk over here. I need to get the arrow, please. Please. Where is it? There we go. We're leaving. Bye, Otto. Welcome. Run past L, our not friend. L. Going in. How is you? Me is good. E am. Okay, so let's take this and use it on this. Like Death Note L. L like Dr. E. Come on, this time it has to work. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Another one? Screw this. I'm gonna go get Bob. Before you do that, let's just test it. We're just wasting our time. I know, goddammit, but just to make sure. All right, I'll run it. So, just wait a second. Let me double check it. What is it? I, I think this is it. You're shitting me. <laughs> I'm not, I swear. It's not quite right, but one of the components is damn close. There's room for variation. Where did it come from? I, I don't know. This one is also not registered. Shit, this might be it. And if we didn't follow procedure, we're all screwed. We need to report it. Let's get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let, let's leave for today. Get everything ready. God damn it, it's gonna be a long night. I was looking forward to a couple of beers. Screw it, let's just go. Um, this was just dumb luck, I guess. Gotta take my chance now, they've gone. His instincts on point with the rest of the meals? Well, we tried chili peppers and water first. So this was just a trial and error. We were just trying to create red water. That's right. Go lock yourself in your little dark room again. Hide away from the big scary world. You're pathetic. No one will ever love you. Unless you make them. Um, yeah, so the, like, foundation place that we're in that's doing all the testing. Yeah, but we didn't have food coloring on us. So this place was doing a bunch of testing of water, but all the water that they were testing was red because we were testing pH levels. It was a whole thing. We had a pH level paper, and it said that the water needed to be red, so then we were making red water to... It actually, probably, it, that's not how pH levels work, but we needed to test red water, so at first we boiled some peppers and made red water out of that, and then... That didn't work, so then we boiled nails. Yeah. I don't, red water. They really are gone, huh? I wonder what's so special about water. The fact that it was red, Graham, that's what my entire speech was about. Were you not listening? It was red pH water. Closed. Good thing I know another way to get in. You sneaky little dog. Okay, so now we can walk around the camp. See what we can find. Huh. They all left. I got this all to myself now. Graham, what are you gonna do with the whole camp to yourself, huh? A workstation of sorts. 
Nothing useful here. That's it? Just to miss it that easily? No need to read that now. Oh, is that the outside? No, it's not. Okay, let's see what is of uh, this way. A lighthouse? I wasn't expecting this. Oh, god damn. Did they really need to close off this path? Well, on the plus side, they definitely are gone now. Left in a hurry. Wonder what's so important about the water. Anyway, what now? Maybe I can get her whereabouts on top of the lighthouse. Always wanted to visit one. You're gonna try and spy her from the top of the lighthouse? I mean, that just feels, with all the trees and stuff around, like, it, that won't work, but... Some direction signs. Okay. He's a silly guy. Silly little guy. No paddles. Maybe they're kept inside the lighthouse. Okay. I thought you were saying goddamn because you wanted to say it, not reading. I was about to say, what made you say that? <laughs> no, it's Graham. It's goddamn Graham. Great for catching crabs and stuff. I guess the lighthouse keeper really likes fishing. What else are you gonna do out here, honestly? Yeah, I'm already here. Graham needs to chill. And I'm not leaving because of that. Graham is at least better than the beginning. Be beginner Graham was little. Maybe I can see her if I look from the top of the lighthouse. He's still not smart, though, I think. I wonder if someone's inside. How do I expect someone up there to hear a knock on the door? A little? He was awful. <laughs> he was really bad, huh? Hey! Anyone there? Hello? To hell with it. Maybe it's... Unlocked? <laughs> Unlocked. <laughs> That's lucky. Hey! Hello! Anybody home? <laughs> no? I think I'm alone. No need to shout like I lost my mind. Are you sure you haven't? Do you play music? Play the fish. Fish look kind of silly out of water. Imagine if that thing just started singing or something. <laughs> really? I want the fish to sing. I thought maybe if I clicked it again, we'd have the possibility of the fish to sing. The fish should sing! It's on a plaque! It should sing! I want it to do the dance! I want it to sing! <sighs> I don't think that clock is working. Lots of portraits. Friends. Probably family. The keeper's lucky. Not everyone has a loving family. That's... rough. Guess the keeper brings his fish up here to prepare it. <laughs> Just pushes it. That chair rocks. Huh. Oh, Graham. <laughs> Is that from a bird or a fish? Lots of family photos. Anything in the drawer? Let's see inside here. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, a journal. A journal, you say? Yes. September 1st, 1997. Nothing to report. Technology really is something. Nowadays, the lighthouse mostly runs by itself. 
It used to be I had to live here most of the time and now I just have come check it out. God hates Jimmy. Thank you for the follow and I hope you're not Jimmy. <laughs> Where did I leave off? I had to live here most of the time and now I just have to come check it out twice a week and do some maintenance. I think soon my profession will cease to exist, at least as I know it. But technology can only go so far. Poor Jimmy. <laughs> Machines and alike won't understand things that don't work perfectly. They won't figure out how to go around in perfection to make things work. Like finding out that a stubborn old door just needs a well-placed kick under it to finally open. We'll still need equally stubborn old men to lose their patience and accidentally find out that works. At least I hope so. Hmm. I mean, that is the thing about machines and technology is that... Like, machines and AI can only go as far as the human mind will take it realistically because you can't program something to do something that you didn't think of first i guess is there more is it just the one page oh we can go back okay april 25th 1974 dear daughter i find myself writing this in my journal for practice not sure if it's for a letter or something i should tell you in person Men in my time were never taught how to handle these things, but as I get older, I think I might be getting a clearer picture of life. At least I hope so. Yesterday when you came up here and during that dreadful fight, I think we finally saw each other's true light, and that's killing me, Ava. I'm sorry for what I said before. I'm even more sorry for what I did not do for you four years ago. After what the Pelletier boy did to you, I should have scorched the whole damned earth. That's what you wanted to happen, and that's what you deserved. Instead, I thought I was being a sensible adult and doing what was best for you. I'm sure his father thought the same. And how could I fight such a powerful man? Jimmy knows what he did. This is sad. So, he basically didn't stand up for his daughter. And then it caused, like, a rift between them. Oh. I thought that accepting the money and the lodge for you and your daughter to live in was the lesser of two evils, but you were right when you told me that I, too, was hiding my shame by sending you there. Is this the... There's no way that this is the missing mom, that Ava is the missing mom, right? But now I see I'm not ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of myself. You were just a kid, and what that boy forced upon you is unspeakable. I wanted to kill that little piece of shit. I should have. Still, I can't help thinking that it was part of God's plan. I know it hurts you to hear that, and for me to think a God could be so cruel and apparently side with him. But if that terrible thing didn't happen, I wouldn't have my sweet and beautiful granddaughter. I do wish you would let us see her more often. I now know how painful it is for you to visit us, and I don't blame you. But I hope someday we can make that change if we all try. Don't take it out on her. She can have a family, even if not a perfect one. This is awful. Yeah, like... So, he was paid off, and he used that money to buy a cabin for his daughter. I hope you like the wind chimes I made for you. I have one just like it. Maybe it will mean that we're listening to the same song of the same wind. I also got a small boat now, so I can come to you more often if you'd like. I named it after my strong, bold, and stubborn daughter. I hope that'll help her see how much she means to me. P.S. I know I told you that being called grandpa made me feel old, but I thought about it a bit, and I think I found a solution. Tell Hannah she can call me GP. Like, oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> it is them. So that's why the boat is called Ava. Hmm. Lots of drama in this old man's life. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Oh, we just got an achievement that we read all of the stories and documents in this game. So, go us. Lots of dirty clothes. Ew. <laughs> this is one of my favorite achievements I could possibly get in any game. I get so sad if there's a game with documentation and then I get to the end and I see there's achievement, there's an achievement for reading all the documents and I didn't get it because then I'm like, I have to replay this game because I have to read all the documents. It's one of my favorite parts. Nothing in there that's useful to me. All right, if you say so. Can we search the jackets? Must get chilly up here. 
you don't like want one. Tea kettle? It's all rusted up. I doubt it can properly hold any liquid without it tainting it. Maybe we want tainted liquid. Cute. So that's... Hmm. They look like a happy family. Well, maybe this was before whatever they were paid off for. Cute kid. That cute kid is Ava. Respect the name. A wall thermometer. It's warm now, but it will get cold soon. I'll see if I can find something out from this advantage point. And then I'm out of here. No harm, no foul. Hmm. Cute. Okay. Just some box. <laughs> Just some box. This registers when shipments are coming or going. Oh, I thought this was a window. I didn't realize that it was like a chalkboard. Lots of paper spread around. It's a fire hazard. No, it's locked. I can't open it. Damn it. Can you kick it down? Can you break into it? Can't see that working. Why not? I've seen you use a ID card before. Alright. I think it's not working because you don't want it to work. And you're not willing to try. Okay, so maybe we can find some kind of key. The keeper might show up anytime. Dude, you saved his granddaughter. I think he owes you to maybe help look for his daughter. You know, like, hey, I think your daughter's missing. He's lazy. Graham, more like lamb-mame. Lame. <laughs> so, valiant effort, I would say. I suck at fishing, but that looks like a good fishing pole. Well, is it in here? Can you check this basket again? <laughs> the way you said it was ten times better. I tried to do your message justice. Alright. Just random stuff. Nothing useful here. What about this wind chime? A wind chime. Thought it was a dream catcher. God damn it, Graham. Do you know nothing? I'm already here. Yeah, but can we go? And I'm not. Okay, but can we go there? What's over here? Must use this for fire pits or for keeping warm, I guess. I don't think that's going to keep him very warm out here. I think you should find... A key somewhere. Do you have... Can we... Do you have any arrows? Could we walk in different directions? Okay, there seems to be no entrances over yonder that side. I don't want to go back down. Hmm. Not gonna need that. I mean, I'm not looking to kidnap anyone. Maybe there's a key in the boat? Hello, welcome back. I guess if I knew where to go, I could use that boat from here forward. <laughs> bird lands, bird watches. But I hate boats. I hate the water. Graham is the most cynical <laughs> little bitch I've ever fucking met. No paddles. Yeah, but is there... He keeps saying maybe they're kept inside the lighthouse, but we also didn't see keys up there. Maybe I didn't search inside well enough? I can't 
can't open it. Like, do you have to click on him? Oh, you have to click on the bottom of the door? Okay. Said something about kicking the door. Well, I might as well try it. Got some pinup up frustration to release anyway. <laughs> Nothing a little violence can't solve. Oh, do it again. Okay. Perfect. I didn't think that was the solution because I wasn't clicking on the correct spot of the door. I should have known better though, considering Graham doesn't do anything badass ever. So when I was clicking the like middle of the door, I was thinking he was gonna like CIA kick it, like FBI break the door down, like But no, he's like tink, tink, tink. <laughs> A spyglass. Yeah, duh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can find a path or even see her. Grandma's no badass. <laughs> there! That's gotta be her. I gotta... How do I get... Did you really see her? There's no way. If I took the boat downstairs, I'd be able to reach her in no time. Shit. That's gotta be it. I gotta do it. Okay. So you gotta find the paddles. Those lead to the top. No thanks. Graham. Graham. He's so full of it. I've been spelling his name as Graham and no one corrected me. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Yeah, it's like a Graham cracker. Not like a Graham of weed. What's this for? What is that? Is that a broken paddle? Or is that a bottle? Are you gonna find a message in a bottle? A wine bottle. The lighthouse keeper must have left it in the water to chill it. Lucky it didn't break it on the rocks. I've never known someone named that before. Okay, so are you gonna open the wine bottle? You just kind of squatted at it. Uh, can't untangle the rope. Well, we have a- Ooh, must have been in the water a long time. It's all gunked up, almost like it fused together. What now? We, we have a corkscrew. There, unscrewed. Now what? Can't take the bottle with me. Hmm. Can, is there something in it? Um, can't untangle the rope. <laughs> Maybe after I complain somewhere. <laughs> it's all gunked up. Almost like it fused together. What now? Okay. Okay. Can't untangle the rope. He definitely uncorked it though. Like I heard the noise. Unscrewed, now what? Okay. Is there something downstairs, maybe? Are you sure you don't want to go up this ladder? I feel like it would be a really awesome adventure for you. And for me. I kind of would like to see it. So. If you wouldn't mind. Um. Maybe we can... I know it said the teapot was, like, really rusty. But perhaps we can use it it might give us the option or we can find something down here maybe i don't know why we need the wine though to be honest it's all rusted up i doubt it can properly hold any liquid a dirty di what about in here there's like cups and stuff hmm nothing in here that's useful really Really? Okay. We gotta brain it out. Uh, we've already looked at, like, all this stuff. What would we... 
cut a rope with. <laughs> That's not a corkscrew. Why does he want the dirty rock? Like, okay, but I think you gotta think a little more broad than that. Like, I don't think we're finding scissors in here. I was hoping maybe like dirty knife and the stack of dishes or something like that. A jagged rock from outside. Didn't find any paddles. Maybe he takes them with him so no one steals the boat. Damn it. I know where I can get a paddle. I really don't want to go there. But now I know where she is. I gotta just suck it up and do it. Where do you not want to go? Back to the mines? Were there paddles at the mines? I really don't want to go there. Unless it's like back to his own house. Where the fuck is he talking about that he doesn't want to go? Also, do you have scissors? Oh, hey. What? Saw you going around those science nerds a lot, and now they gone running in a hell of a hullabaloo. Did you do something, boy? Me? Little Graham? I could never. Stop being suspicious all the time. It's none of your business anyway. Jesus, Paul. <laughs> That's Otto! You bet it's my business. When it happens right in front of me, you're cooking something, boy, and I don't like the smell of it. Just let me be, okay? Uh, about the lighthouse. He's gonna be like, stay away from that damned lighthouse. You happen to know anything about the lighthouse keeper? Decent guy? Shared a bottle with me once. Wait a minute. Why are you asking? I didn't know his name, but now that I do, I like him 7.6 times more. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious. Just wanted to know more about him. You're being a creep! You leave them folks alone. Poor man has had troubles enough. No need to deal with you on top of it all. You hear me? Damn, Otto, just relax, you old coot. What you called me? <laughs> he really seems like an Otto, and I like it. He fits his name, yeah. Thought so. Um, are you done with this treehouse? Is the treehouse finished? Is you stupid? Is you blind? Is this conversation not finished already? Alright then. Say, Otto. <laughs> you seem like someone that's seen a lot of stuff around here. <laughs> Any old stories? <sighs> Nothing that I'd interest you. Most of the stories around here are old village gossip. Mostly about the Pelletiers. Bastards. I fucking love this, man. <laughs> you sound like you hate them. Is it because of the mine? You worked there, right? Ugh. The mine. That's just business. People screw up business all the time. But the other stuff. What that rich, spoiled brat did to the lighthouse keeper's daughter? Protected by daddy. Never got what he deserved. Why can't the main character be Otto? <laughs> No, it's not! Based on a real-life fisherman that our illustrator knew? <laughs> a spin-off game of Otto's story? What? What happened? None. Of. Your. Beeswax. I don't want to gossip, not with your sorts. We ain't pals. You're dying to talk about it. Oh, yeah, you've missed the past few streams, but, uh, yeah, welcome one of the devs of the game. They've been hanging around, helping us out with some of the... Some of the more difficult parts that I get stuck on. <laughs> Birdish eye. <laughs> Do 
Just tell me, you wish I was dying. I'll outlive you, you stinky piece of shit. Fine, be like that. Nice talking to you, Otto. Scram! Ugh, okay. I'm so curious what exactly happened. Like, I, I have theories, but like, I wanna know exact the moon goes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, do you, is there like, don't come near my work, you'll probably screw something up. <laughs> don't scare the bird. <laughs> uh, I don't think we seem to have paddles. Wish I could get far from here. Start again. But everywhere's shitty somehow. Was there... I feel like I remember seeing paddles somewhere. <laughs> bird changes branch. <laughs> Bird just hopping around like boop boop boop. But I'm trying to remember. Like I can I can picture it, but I can't remember where I saw it. This is where we got this glass. <laughs> I don't think we need another one. Oh, I guess I can take one more of these now. Are you gonna put the wine in this? What does this have to do with the paddle? Oh! Oh, 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 doesn't matter. Okay, ah. Uh, take another break it. I'm thinking it's take another fill it with the wine that's at the lighthouse. Take this to auto. Oh, break it to cut the rope. Oh, maybe, I mean, you could be right too. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Which one is correct? My theory is that we're gonna pay Otto to give us some ores. Or just like two by fours or something. Like, cause he's like, oh yeah, he split a bottle of wine with me before. So I'm thinking we have to get the wine for him. I mean, either way, I think the wine is probably for Otto, but it's whether we have to cut the rope or put it in the bottle. But I imagine, since we have it corked open, this will have to do. Don't mutiny the group! It's a weird place to keep wine, but let's say I decanted it. Hmm. I'll leave the corkscrew as payment. That is not a fair trade. <laughs> let's say we're even- That is not a fair trade! But you know it is a fair trade? Saving his granddaughter. Just just saying. I feel like... I feel like you win that one. <laughs> and you're probably gonna save his daughter daughter, too. His daughter and his granddaughter. I support your mutiny. <laughs> the chaos. Gro is so scared of the Keeper. What's he gonna do to you, huh? Yell at you? He can't yell at you more than Otto's yelled at you. Oh dear Otto boy. I have a little tradesies for ya. A little deal. Otto, would you like this scientific wine? Yeah, he'll want that. Maybe he has something he'd be willing to trade for it. Let's see what he has. Hey, Otto! Looks like you're done. Hammering today. That makes sense. Short talk from someone with a short brain. 
I don't think that's a real expression. What do you want? Oh, can I? I'm on the right path. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that message that you just put in. Um, Cause that's wild. What, oh, do you want me to like look first? Having that hammer would be useful. Mumble, mumble, mumble. What's that? Nothing, nosy bastard. Could you lend me your hammer? Can't I please use your hammer? I'll bring it right back. Then what's the point of having the writer? You guys have a writer for a dialogue, but he doesn't want dialogue. That's a waste of... Okay. It's fine. <laughs> it will take five minutes maximum. In five minutes, a dozen of my buddies died. In five minutes, I fell in love once. And in five minutes, I ruined the shit out of that. A lot can happen in five minutes, boy. That's very insightful, Otto. And in five minutes, I'll smash your head in if you don't get out of my face. Should have known. Look, what if I give something in return? You have nothing to offer, numbnut. Well, we'll see. We'll see! I have for chance, as always, real nice. Uh huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I give you the wine yet? Hey, Otto, guess what I have? It kind of reminds me of my grandpa. I, I love that for you and am a little concerned. Poison! There's a lot of dialogue that we wrote that people don't actually get to read. Yeah, but I feel like... The difference is, is that the team for New Hoobie is saying there's no point in writing it because people won't care enough. Versus, like, having different stories. More than 60,000 words written on this game. That's crazy. It's wine. <laughs> Mighty weird looking wine bottle you got there. I'd be skeptical too, Otto, honestly. This guy could easily, very easily be a psychopathic killer you know he's got the vibe down i had to improvise but it is wine would you like to have it what's the catch like showing items to characters players tend not to do that oh yeah like pulling from your inventory and showing a character yeah i don't think that necessarily crosses my mind too much to be honest so i could see myself missing a lot of dialogue from that I'll trade it for your hammer. I knew you'd ask for something, you weasel. It was hard coming by this. It's a fair trade. I won't give you my hammer, you scum. But I'll lend it to you. Real temporary. You have until I finish drinking to give me my hammer back, you hear? And that's final. Sure, okay. Uh... We wrote all dialogue for each of them, so it's there for people that want it. For each item? Okay, so we have a hammer. Now here's the thing. Each item and right click on everything. Oh yeah, you did tell me about the right click last time. Otto is many things. Maybe the only good one is that he's a hard worker. That's really brutal of you. There's Otto. Looks like he's done hammering away. Well, we have his hammer, so. A treehouse and a swing. It's like a six-year-old in a 60-year-old's body. Um... Maybe I'm a little bit 
confused, I guess, why we... There's much more going for Otto. Yeah. Wait, didn't this have nails before? Weren't we supposed to? They're nailed shut. Okay. That was a... No? That's literally what a hammer is for, dude. Like, do you understand what hammers are for? Oh, there is a closed door in Graham's house. You're correct. You're correct about that. With the boards on it. Yeah, back here. Oh, they're gonna be back there. Okay, there's probably gonna- Okay. I promised myself I wouldn't go back there. I guess this has to be done. I'm a little suspi- What is- Is that like a knight? What is in it? What's gonna be back here? Because he's like, this house was abandoned. And I'm like, was it abandoned or did- was it abandoned or did you murder the owner and bury him in the backyard and then nail the door shut because it was like the Edgar Allan Poe story of the telltale heart and you could hear his heart beating from the backyard so you nailed the door shut. Hey boy, time's up. Give me my hammer back. That was quick. You hear me? We had a deal. Now give it back. Okay, let's go return the hammer, Jesus. I still got it, right? I just want to make sure. Here's your hammer, Otto. Here's your hammer back. Took your sweet time with it. Afraid I can't give you your wine back. <laughs> Already done, I see. You judging me, boy? Joke's on you. Let's see who'll be judged the harshest in the end. Whatever you say, Otto. He knows! He knows that we murdered the owner and stuck him in our backyard. Hello! Hello, hello! There's an old boat back here. Haven't used this place since that night. Did you crash land here? Headache got real bad. Felt like I was gonna lose my mind. Had to be alone. I'm sorry, that got the song stuck in my head. The, I'm about to lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. I'm like, all right, Graham, <laughs> chill out, man. I hate being here. Just gonna get what I need and leave. <laughs> okay, are we taking the oars? This is the place where I'm at my lowest. But, like, I never want to feel like that again. May I have more information, Graham? Is this just going to say the same thing? Yeah, because it's just the other side. Look at this little boat. Use the wood from that wrecked boat to board up the door. Ah! That don't feel... Oh, then don't feel and take the oars. Well, I'm prompting him to feel. I'm forcing this trauma onto him, okay? <gasps> What's happening in here? What is going on? Are there like fam- Is that a- You have another smoke! Graham, there's one last stale cigarette. I shouldn't have come here. It brings out the worst in me. Left some cigarettes here, though. Only one. Better than nothing. I'll just grab the paddles and leave this shithole. The fuck you will, Graham. We are going to top to bottom investigate this whole fucking thing. Alright? I need to know some more of your backstory. I want to look at these photos. And you're going to have to suffer through it. Okay? You're not a stalker, are you? 
Please don't tell me you're a stalker. A bad photo, but I had to be subtle. People around here don't like knowing someone just taking pictures of them. Don't want anyone to think I'm a weirdo. Yeah, because screw your feelings, Graham. Is that, I, is that it? I wanted a little bit more. Got a bit carried away last time. This is telling me nothing. Can I? This was the best picture I managed to take that day. Or is it just like, um, a random person? Seeing if it flips over at all. Ugh. Didn't want to come here. But at least I have what I need. Okay, now I'll... I'll just... Oh, shit. No! Another headache! Not now! Not here! Come on! No! I have so many questions for Graham and his mental stability. Is there gonna be another wolf quiz? How, how long was I out? Oh, is it nighttime again? Oh. Is there anything to click on while we're here? Okay. Interesting. This looks painted. It's gotten really late already. I should go right now. No time to waste. Auto saving. One of my favorite symbols. Okay. Well. Scanning the perimeter. Let's go back to the boat. Oh, it didn't make us walk the whole way. That's kind of nice. I guess I could use that boat from here forward. I hate boats. I hate the water. God damn it. All right, buddy. Let's boat on. Okay. I gotta be brave now. It'll all be worth it. Let's go. Be a badass, Graham. We're rooting for you. Oh, weird. Okay. Did I miss it? I did. That was cool. Screw it. I can't take this anymore. I'm too scared of the water. This is good enough. Isn't this right by the house? I'll do the rest by foot. I mean, this is it. I'm doing it. I'm... I'm sick of you. I might just let the wolves take you. Who is that? Graham, who's in your head? Some... someone there? There's always something wrong with you, isn't there? Should have smacked you harder. It worked on your brother. <gasps> There's eyes over here. What a stupid mind filled with scum. You deserve to die like your father. You're so rotten since you were born. Only an evil thing like you would decide to ruin your mother. No. Stop. Leave me alone. She'll understand. She'll see the good in me. I'm better now. I'm a grown man. I'm a grown man. 
That was crazy. Be a man for once. I... It reminds me of a child called It. Oh, is this... Yeah, this is where we were before, right? Be a man. Huh. Looks like the lighthouse keeper just got there. Hope he's not too mad about the boat. I'll give it back. That sounds like someone's trying to start a motor. What's that noise? It's someone trying to start a motor. <laughs> Ava? That looks like Hannah, so that must be Ava, right? She's gonna be so mad. I told you guys she was fine. She's gonna be so mad that we took her daughter. That's her. I have to ignore everything else. I did a lot to get here. She'll understand. I know she will. H uh, hello? What? Who are you? Hi. I'm Graham. What are you doing here? I've been looking for you. Do I know you? No, that's the thing. I... I, I just had to meet you. Sure. Well, now we've met. Have a nice day. No, wait, you don't understand. Oh? What didn't I understand? I've seen you from afar so many times. And I couldn't help feeling... I couldn't help thinking that we've got to have something very deep in common. I'm sorry. I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm screwing everything up. I guess I'm nervous. I... I just had to get to know you. The path. What? The path is blocked. I and you don't live here, so you don't have a permit. How did you get here? Do you... What? What is happening? <laughs> He's so creepy. Yeah, I'm a little confused as to what is happening. This is embarrassing, but... It, it shows you how much I was willing to do just to meet you. I kind of borrowed a boat. And I'm really scared of the water. But it was the only way, and when I found one at the lighthouse, you stole my dad's boat. Every step you take. <laughs> what did you do to him? I'm sorry, I didn't know. They were both, like, the same. I didn't know that he was... Oh, so you're called Ava. That's a wonderful name. Look, why don't we start over? I... Don't come any closer. I'll kill you, you delusional bastard. Coming here like this, you freaking loon. Get away from my home, now! No. This is not how this was supposed to go. Just shut up! Go away! Now! I don't want to know you. Think you can fool everyone? You can't fool me. Stop it! I know what you really are. You need to see that I'm... weak. Don't come any closer, you... Stop! Get off me! Let me go! You will run and run, but the wolves will catch up to you. You'll be screaming for help, but no one will come because no one loves you. Stop moving. Oh, that was him. You can't run away.
The handkerchief is back. The handkerchief is back. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is why her, her mom never came home. And that's all your fault. He just threw her in the lake. What did I say? I said that Graham could easily be a psychotic murderer. And we have, oh, we have the singular cigarette back as well in our, oh my God, don't do this to me. I think I would have preferred the werewolf thing. I, no, I prefer it like this. He won't go. He won't go. If we go back, there's going to be wolves. There's going to be wolves. There's going to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh god. It didn't happen. It didn't- I- I must have imagined it. I just- Son of a bitch, dude! Son of a bitch! What the- Why- Our family eats together. Go away! Um, stop crying and listen to your mother, Graham. <laughs> I kind of lost this one. I'm so sorry. Do as I say and then I'll love you, but if you don't. If you don't behave, the wolves will come at night. They will take you away as you scream, and I'll be laughing the whole time with no love to give. Do you hear me, you spoiled little brat? What is happening? And then we're running out. Well, you missed the beginning. This is the beginning. What the hell? I gotta get out of here. Some- Someone there? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a house. I wonder... Bro? Dude? This is so strange. Nothing scary about a creaky door that's open in the middle of nowhere. Hello? Someone there? Um, anybody home? Stop right there or I'll fire. I have a gun. Whoa, don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. I, uh, are you, are you just a kid? I'm a person that has a gun, and you don't scare me, monster. I'm not a monster.
my heart is literally like doo -doo 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 -doo. like it's so it's beating so oh my god that was a seamless loop seamless I don't even know how the fuck I feel. I know that's kind of, I'm like in shock. I'm like in, in denial. I now understand why Graham is such like a despisable character. Like it all makes sense to like want to have, cause at first I was like, wow, Graham sucks. Like, and it, it felt strange to me to have someone be so unlikable as your main character unless they had like a redemption arc or if you're just supposed to hate them which i didn't think down that branch of thinking but like that also makes sense i need to watch from the beginning later yes Yes. I will be uh, getting these up on my YouTube channel pronto. I'll make sure to pop them up there because this was good, good. This was good, good. Like, the whole time I was playing this game, I was like, I know I like this game, but I didn't know almost why I was playing the game, if that makes sense. Like, I was like, what's the objective here? Like... But I really had this, like, urge to constantly want to come back and play it. I was like, okay, I'm going to stream this game again tonight. I'm going to stream this game again tonight. Like, because I just had this pull to want to check out the last document on the extras. Does this have all the stuff in it? Like, all the journals. Yeah, because that's the code. Oh, I can't. Can I? Okay. Can I just? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going through them all. It only unlocks if you got all the documents. Wow. What? Okay, so that's in that place. Coffee mugs. There is that one. Okay, so that was that one. So this is the... <gasps> no! No! You're joking! In the red crayon? In the red crayon? Oh my gosh. I knew those grandparents should have been so mad that their kid that their grandchild was with a stranger. How psychotic of him. How absolutely manipulative of Graham to be like, I'm a good guy. I'm going to take the kid to her grandparents' house so she can be safe. What after you just ruined her life unbeknownst to her? Ugh. This, ugh, this makes me angry. <laughs> I have emotions. I do wonder, he's the worst. He sucks. I hate Graham. Usually in our playthroughs, we find someone to have a little crush on. We always have a character that we love. Well, in this playthrough, we have a character that we hate, and it's Graham. I can't believe, so was that, um, this doesn't have photos in it, was that photo, oh, we also went through all the photos, or we also collected all the photos, is that also in here, um, we still have the character we love and have a crush on, is it auto? Look at this. This is so cute, though.
the mines. I struggled through the mines. Dude. Oh, but so that woman at the market was her mom then. These are so cool, seeing the concept drawings. There's your main man. There's your auto boy. <laughs> I like this one where he's like holding a lobster. <laughs> An L. My man. Dude. Thank you. It was really awesome having you here. I really appreciate it because you definitely helped me through the few times that I was really stuck and I like it, it made the gameplay so much better. These are so cool. We would have been stuck for ages. They've been here when I've been stuck for ages on games. It's not fun. <laughs> um. So is there a way, I wonder, where you could have... Yeah. Um. Minecraft? Thank you for the follow. And I like the name. That's a unique username. I like it. Uh, is there a way to fix Storky? Because you get him and he has, like, the rip. And then he's like, I'll keep an eye out for the perfect fabric you don't have to tell me how you fix it fix him but is there a way or was that just a useless like that was never gonna happen because i really wanted to get him stitched up and then we lost him like what was that about i'm still not over it i'm grieving i'm grieving storky great great run amazing stream thank you No, this was a great game. This was really good. We never had plans for having him fixed. That's heartbreaking. That's cruel, okay? I had plans for having him fixed. She explicitly asked me to fix him. I'm also glad that I told her Okay, I'm glad that I told her that we weren't going to see her again in the future. You can use him on stuff to explore Graham's psyche. Ah, uh, I did love the interactions between the two, like when they would be like talking back and forth to each other. I thought it was so fun. Such a sassy little character to have added. That was really great. Whale Stork Interactive. I get it now. I get it now. <laughs> that question from her is really on purpose for foreshadowing. Dang. Yeah, I'm glad I was like, no, we won't ever see each other. Because I was like, man, you kidnapped her. You cannot, like, why should they let you see her in the future? But now I hope that Graham is in jail. I hope he's in jail in the future. And that he never gets a chance to see her again. I don't care about his feelings. He deserves prison time. And I don't accept his apology. Ugh, oh, so good. I hope he becomes a werewolf in the future. He just gets infected. He just gets infected by werewolfism. I mean, it could be possible, I guess. I don't know. In the in the auto run that'll come. <laughs> yeah. You, sir, have a werewolf problem. There, boom. New start. New story mode. New story mode unlocked. Graham turns into a werewolf. 
from his <gasps> it can be like it can be like metaphorical turned into reality so like his his bad deeds have haunted him and you can add into the the wolfiness like the wolves will come to get you so then it'll be him turning into a werewolf out of guilt and shame and sin and then and then Otto <laughs> and then Otto will find out what happened and will hunt him down and we'll have to hunt him down and end it to protect his little village. Because Otto was friends with the lighthouse keeper. And it's the lighthouse keeper's daughter who was slaughtered by Graham. So Otto will be the main murdering man of our little sinful werewolf Graham. I think it's a good story run. I think it's good. I think, we, I think we've got some great pointers there. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You two need help. I think you need help if you don't see the vision, all right? The night is auto. <laughs> that sounds like an action movie. Did you get the Pelletier story? I'm a little confused as to what exactly happened. I think it said in the... Of course, I just shut the game out. Did, didn't did it say in the mine documents what the Pelletier boy did to Ava? But I... That part, like when I played that part, was a while ago. So I don't remember all the details of the story. But I understand that the Pelletier boy like the son did something to Ava but I don't know exactly what he did to Ava and then they paid off Ava's family to like not say anything Let me put on some music while we're still chatting. Okay, that's what I was kind of, um, was the fruit of Hannah's existence. That's what I was kind of suspecting, but I couldn't remember the, all the years. So I didn't know how long was in between, like, the incident and... Like, calculating how old Hannah was. Yeah, I thought that's what it was insinuating as well. But I wasn't positive. So I was just like, it was still a gray area to me. So crazy, though. I really liked that it was all about... A gray area. Yeah, I know what I said. Okay. <laughs> the story was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, re I really liked how the, the, like, main story was actually about Graham and his psyche and the wolves and, like, finding out, like, who he was and, like, where the mom was. But it really did a great job of putting your focus on other things, like the side story about the mines and all that stuff. Cause you really start thinking like, oh, this town is infected. Like that's where I thought it was going for a good while was that there was some kind of infection that was being spread by the mines and that Graham had caught the infection. And so he was, like, breaking down mentally and, like, losing his... Because it said in the mind stories that people were, like, losing their minds. So I just thought that there was something in the water, basically, and that Graham was losing his mind as well. But it turns out that he's just a murdering psychopath because he was traumatized as a child. So, I mean, it happens to the best of us, you know?
In the mind, the wolves. Graham's family representation actually spoils the entire game without you noticing. When it's doing, like, the wolf quizzing... Is it because it, like, uh... Yeah, when the wolf, like, melts into the body... And that's Ava... Asked about the past and the future. Oh... I had to write down... I don't want to get out my, my pen and paper. I had to write down what questions, because I didn't understand. Was there a specific, like, oh, that's Graham's mother that comes out of the wolf. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Like, a theme to the answers for the wolves? Because when I did it, I couldn't pick up the theme, so I just did like trial and error and I was like okay this one was not a step this one was not a step this one was a step like and so then when I had to redo it again it took me like three or four tries to get through that scene just based on seeing if they walked towards me or not and then doing it all again but I was trying to pick up what like the theme was like what they wanted to hear but I don't know I couldn't get it They ask a question for each chapter, the ones you played and the ones you are still going to play. Oh, okay. That actually kind of makes a lot more sense. Because the first, like, two answers of that were like, okay, easy clap. Like, I know. I feel like I know the answer for this. And then after that was whenever the questions got harder. So that makes sense because I hadn't yet played those chapters. Got it. Yeah. Huh. The thought that was into this was so phenomenal. Like, I feel like there was a ton of brainstorming and how to can this connect to this and connect to this and the subliminal messaging of this and this and this. Like, it was pieced together like a brilliant little puzzle. Like, it was great. One day play again. Now that every yeah, see how Koi is and how he lies. Yeah, like knowing the ending, his character is written so great because that explains like all the uneasiness and disgustability, like like all those bad emotions that you have towards Graham. Like you're like, oh yeah, that's why. Because he's scum. Like, got it. Cool. 